morning everyone so today is monday today is the day that i'm going to make the uh video watch list free for everyone on youtube and twitter and instagram so before i start with the watch list uh if you are new to trading or new to mic we have a free two-hour webinar for you guys it's at myinvestingclub.co uh what you do is you reserve your seat here Put in all of your information and then you'll have access to the uh, free two-hour course if you watch the whole thing till the end you get a additional 10-hour uh, mini course involved too so what this webinar is going to be is basically like a crash course into trading uh, there's limited space every single week so reserve your spot now before the uh, spaces for the week fill up all right let's start so uh coming into this week we have to remember the market sentiment right so last week was a massive amount of runners on Monday and Tuesday and then towards Wednesday and Thursday it started to slow down until Friday when BNGO kind of went apeshit so we are currently in a market where uh, longs have an advantage uh, the zombie rule is real uh, there's a lot of stocks that uh, start to reverse around those times so we have to be extra careful when it comes to being patient on these plays. So let's start from the beginning. So BIMI, this stock was pumped up in the morning uh, by a chat room. They sent it up to the moon. And the thing with stocks like this is like, because the float is so low and because it is so easy to manipulate, chat rooms and pumpers love this shit. So for us, what we're waiting for is, I see a resistance level around six bucks. So I want to be shorting towards the six dollar level right in the morning and my game plan on this would be to use small size to only have a starter size and then when it fails and then bounces we could reshort so six is kind of my area of interest i got it from here scs also moves with bimi and vice versa bimi moves with scs so this is also another one that was kind of pumped up i was kind of waiting for it to go higher but we had no such luck so on a play like this you know, the resistance levels that I see are over here around eight bucks, and I see one over here, call it 850. I mean, eight dollars seems like it's too close right now. I mean, you could take a small starter here with a plan to add up here, but realistically, realistically, what you want is you want to fucking jump up to this level on a chat room or newsletter. You want to be shorting this level, you want to be adding towards this level, and then stopping out above nine. Sorry, I gotta get a text on all right uh, so that's the plan on SCS uh, these are again SCS and BIMI are very low float stocks so you don't want to be jumping in with a lot of size so this BNGO is a stock that kind of ramped up day one fucking tanked day two really tanked and then last week it just caught massive amounts of volume. If you look at it, it traded more volume last week, I mean, on Friday, than it did uh, the last two times that it was trading. So there seems to be a lot of people stuck on this stock. So I mean, what I'm just doing is I'm trying to keep it very, very simple. I'm drawing my resistance levels. I see one towards 240 over here. So I want the stock to bounce towards this level and fail. And that's kind of gonna be the levels that I'm looking to short it at. Uh, I kind of mentioned in the watch list too that if the stock stays red, I'm interested in shorting a pop. But realistically, looking at the way how tight the range is on this stuff, it doesn't really make sense to wait for it to kind of go uh, red. So just going to kind of wait for that to pop. And if it doesn't pop, we don't have an entry. ATIS is the other one that I'm watching. This is a stock that ran up and just tanked all day. So today, in an ideal world, we get a pop towards this level right here call it you know 190 to two bucks so we want to see it pop this level pop this level and fail uh, on a stock like this I'm trying to think like I really wouldn't be shorting a red to green move unless you're very precise with it and you have a very tight stop because the reality is what you're gonna make 10 15 cents if you get it perfectly so on a play like that yeah you could have a fantasy order towards um, you got a fantasy order towards 175 maybe like couple hundred shares to make 10 or 20 cents if possible but I mean realistically you want this shit to pop because it's on the back side of the move MDR okay so 
if you remember this stock, uh, I think it was, was it this day that it ran? One of these days, I think it was either this day or this day, they had news that uh, they were not going to go bankrupt anymore. Uh, the stock was on SSR. It ramped up pre-market and then tanked and then bounced up. I think it was towards 270s. Yeah, this day it was towards 270s at the open. And right now it's gapping up above this. So you have to assume that this 270, 280 level is going to be support. Um, so that kind of matches up with the level here. 270, 280 is going to be support. So in a perfect world, um, we need this thing to tank and then bounce and then we'll short the bounce. But here are some red flags with this stock. This stock has, let me check. This stock has 180 million share float. 44% of the float is short. 88% is institutionally owned. SSR is on and it's relatively easy to find the short on. So when you have all these fucking warning signs on the stock, you don't want to be shorting and being patient on it. Essentially, what I see right now is very simple. I see a resistance level here at 330. So if this shit pops towards 330 in the morning, I'm going to be shorting that with a 350 stop with a plan to cover sub three. So let this thing tank. Let it go under 270 if it wants to. The best case scenario, it goes to 250 and then bounces to three and then we short it there. So I'm not getting FOMO. I'm going to wait for it to kind of do its thing and then I'll attack on a pop hopefully. And the last one that I'm looking for is this HEPA. The reason why I'm interested in this is hopefully if it just pops towards this fucking, uh, oops. Hopefully if it pops towards this 370 level, I might be able to get a short, but it's just looking like it's tanking right now. So, I mean, that's it. So every single day I do these video watch lists for my investing club members. Uh, if you are a member, you could probably just close it right now, but if you're not a member, uh, be sure to register for that two hour course. Uh, if you have any questions, email Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. And again, it's $179 a month, $5 a day. If you can't afford $5 a day to trade, you probably shouldn't be trading anyway. So good luck, everyone, today. And then if any members have any questions, hit me up in the room.